Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Brevard Sports Network. Apologize for the unprofessional sound. That's not what we're used to. Uh, I made a boo boo this morning. I, uh, I I I messed up and left the equipment at home. Uh, so again, this is my fault. And uh, here we are, six U flag action all day today here on the Brevard Sports Network. As we have the Titusville Terriers on homecoming week. Taking on the Merritt Island Mustangs. Here in flag action. Quarterback under center. He's going to hand it off to his back. And his back's got room. Down the sideline. Finally has his flag pulled at about the 40-yard line. Justin Gotti Jr. on that carry. Quarterback number seven, Derek Gunter. And that'll set up Titusville with first and ten. In plus territory. We're going to have football all day today. 6U, 8U, 10U, and 14U action on tap today. Also on tap today, Alan slaughter Zinski will have FHSAA Class 5A Volleyball on tap as the Merritt Island Mustangs take on Cypress Creek. Gunter under center. He's gonna take it for a gain of a yard, drops the football, the play will be blown dead as in flag, once the ball touches the ground, the play is blown dead. Second and nine for Titusville. And Titusville there with a quick huddle. Back to the line of scrimmage. Guns are under center. He's going to give it off to the back. I believe that's number five. Check that's number six, uh, Legend Virgil. And Virgil will lose a couple of yards on the play, bringing up third down and about 13 for the Terriers. Gunter under center. Two backs in the backfield. Snap. He's going to give it off there to number four. And number four to the outside. He's got himself a Titusville Terrier first down, or was his flag pulled? Let's see where they spot him. They're going to spot him just a yard short. Number four, Felix Santos the third. On that carry, it was third and 13. He picks up 12. So fourth and one for the Terriers. Yeah. 
Terrier showing that versatility. Gunter now being sent out as a back. And it will be a, a keeper. And did he get it? Yes, he did. That'll be enough for a Titusville Terrier first down. Did not catch the, the uh, young man who went up under center. It, it wasn't the normal quarterback, Derek Gunter. We look right into the sun this morning. Gunter back under center. Gunter looking for the handoff. That ball, the ball is dropped. And that'll be a loss. Check it out, it was first and goal. A loss of three or four yards on the play. Like to thank our sponsor, Cash for Cars. Stepping up and sponsoring the day's worth of action. You'll hear all about them all day today here on the Brevard Sports Network. Again, Cash for Cars. There's the handoff coming near side. Into the end zone. Touchdown, Terriers! Number 14, Ronald Bell on the carry. So they're going for the one-point conversion here. Run for one, kick for two. Gunter's going to hand off. And the Mustangs get back there and stop that conversion. But the Terriers get on the board first, methodically moving the ball down the field and take a 6 to nothing lead here in the first half. Now we get a chance to take a look at the Mustangs here on offense for their first possession. All right, so here come the Mustangs for their first possession of the first half here. Mustangs in that black and gold here. I formation. Quarterback is going to keep it, number nine. He'll pick up a gain of a couple yards before having his flag pulled. Cameron Shields on that first carry for the Mustangs. And 
And that, they'll give him a gain of about three yards on the play. Second and seven for the Mustangs. Coach saying, everybody, point your guy out. Point to who you're blocking. Shields. Going to give it off to his back. His back trying to get to the outside. He's got some running room. Down the sideline. One man to beat. And the flag pulled. A touchdown saving flag pull. Josiah Gonzalez on the on the carry. Monster carry, and that'll be enough for a Merritt Island first down. I formation, and this play will be blown dead before it gets started. Ready for play whistle. Ball carried there by number eight. Number eight has an open lane into the end zone. Touchdown, Mustangs. Josiah Gonzalez on the touchdown for the Mustangs. So the Mustangs answer on their first possession, and we're all tied up 6-6, pending the extra point. Shields under center. He's going to carry it himself right up the middle and in there for the extra point. So Merritt Island takes a 7-6 to six lead after each team has one possession. I do not see the clock operating, so I do not know how much time is left. Time's being kept on the field by the officials. And Lord knows they're not going to yell. Cash for Cars is today's sponsor. Running or not, no title, no problem. Give them a call at 407-613-1512. Again, it's Cash for Cars. You'll be seeing and hearing about them all day long here on the Brevard Sports Network. So here come the Terriers, their second possession. Head coach Martin Redman Getting his, there's the handoff there to number three. And number three will have his flag pulled after a loss of about five or seven yards on the play. Walter Thomas. Oh, wait a minute.
make sure I'm hearing this correctly. I think that might have been a safety. I think it might have been a safety. And Merritt Island might have picked up two points. I believe that's what happened. A safety for Merritt Island. And now they'll go up nine to six. So a big turn of events there for that Merritt Island defense. So Shields. Cameron Shields keeps it himself. And he, he will lose two yards on the play. Second and 12 for the Mustangs. Shields under center. Shields is going to give it off there to number one. Number one to the outside. Number one down the sideline. Finally having his flag pulled, but not before a gain of about 17 yards on the play. And that will be enough for a Merritt Island Mustang first down. Number one, Darren Bollard. As the timeout was called by Merritt Island. Wanted to talk this over. And again, while we have this timeout, let's thank Cash for Cars for sponsoring today's action. Running or not, no title, no problem. Give them a call at 407 613 1512. Again, it's Cash for Cars. Cameron Shields under center. He's going to give it off to number 13 who's coming near side to you. Escapes a flagpole. Uh, uh, 
No problem. No, 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 you're good. You're good. That was actually number 12 on the carry. Cage Dukes. Timeout called by the Terriers. And there's number 24, number 24, looking for some room. Shaking and baking. Finally picks up some positive yardage and it looks like a gain of about four yards on the play. Number 24. Do not have a number 24 on my roster for Merritt Island. See as you hear some of the parent coaching going on going on on the sidelines. Beautiful day for football. Clear skies, the sun's out. It's gonna be a it's gonna be a normal Florida warm one. Here come the Mustangs. Mustangs got the ball on the safety. And carries it up the middle, makes a man miss. There goes number 13. Check that, it's number eight. Number eight on the carry, Josiah Gonzalez. And Gonzalez will have enough for a Merritt Island Mustang first down. Eight, hey, you check it. You check in will be conducted in on the south end. Eight you check in. Eight you check in. Two south end of the concession stand. As they call for eight you check in. The Mustangs up currently nine to seven. Don't know how much time is left in the half. Shields takes the snap, gives it number one, number one, for cut, finds a cutback lane, finally gets his flag pulled, that's Darian Ballard. And Ballard might have picked up a gain of two yards. And that is halftime, folks. So your halftime score, Merritt Island 9, Titusville 6. We'll be right back with second half action. And uh, when they do their homecoming ceremony, we will do our best to show you the homecoming ceremony right here on the Brevard Sports Network. It's homecoming week for the Terriers. They'll name it, they will name a homecoming prince and princess.
Again, we are at halftime. While we have this halftime break, we'd also like to thank our partner, our sponsor, Cash for Cars. Running or not, title or not, or no title, no problem. Give them a call at 321-407-613-1512. Again, it's Cash for Cars. Running or not, no title, no problem. That, uh, that, 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 that buzzing you hear, uh, s s someone's got a little drone on the other field over there, kind of just flying it around, fly flying around a, a drone plane. Coming up next, 8U action right here on the Brevard Sports Network. Control plane over there. It's pretty cool to watch. Don't know if you can see it on the the feed, but it, it, it's over on the other field. Someone has a remote control plane, and they're kind of just flying it around and testing it out. And again, folks, uh, I apologize. This is not the typical quality sound you're used to hearing. Uh, I made a mistake this morning, and uh, Alan's currently correcting my mistake. Because, uh, yeah, I, 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 I'm the one who forgot the equipment and everything at the house. So for that, for all the, all the families out there, the, the student athletes, I, I sincerely apologize. I think they're attempting, they're getting ready to do the homecoming ceremony.
Isabella? I believe they're doing the, the, the homecoming ceremony. The other balloon art too. Can I get flagged? What, what division do you play for? 12 you? Uh, I, I was I was excited. I was hoping I could see y'all play against uh, another I team. Yeah. Uh, you'll bring them over here. Okay, you know, come on over here. We'll, we'll we'll do a little impromptu interview. Come on up. Just speak loudly oh. into the into the phone. What's uh? What's your name? Yep. So our winners for homecoming team flag division is Walter Thomas. Walter Thomas. And, uh, unfortunately, and our winner for you cannot see it due to the tents. Queen, homecoming queen is bear rooting for the man, Aviana. Avea, sorry. So congratulations to the homecoming king and queen and Mr. Reyes, uh, t tell us a little bit, t tell everyone for those who haven't seen your team play, tell everyone about the uh, the 12U Titusville Terriers. Uh, our 12U Titusville Terriers, we've already lost two games so far. We, um, I want to say that we suck, but we have a team, and we go to a Super You guys... You guys are a hard are a hard fought team. I, I had a chance to see you all play against the uh, that twelve U Melbourne Bulls team, which is a, just a star studded lineup, and, and and you guys put up a good fight. The, the the way the scoreboard turned out didn't exactly reflect how you guys played. You guys played with heart. You guys you guys tried hard. It's just that twelve U Bulls team last week was unbelievable. I would say North Melbourne, they have a good defense. You stopped me, I got some yards, but it was a winning. They got good defense and offense. That's what I said. That they do. What, what, what do you like about uh, where, what your team, how your team is playing so far as you head here into the regular, last, last week of the regular season? You play as a brother. One goes down, the other man You know, and that's exactly what you like to hear. You know what? I, I really hope we're calling your name at the uh, the, the, the Super Bowls this year. I'm really excited to watch you watch you all and uh, see how you all do in the playoffs. Isaiah Reyes, check that. Okay. I second guess myself. Isaiah Reyes, as we just had a quick little interview with him. Unfortunately, you will not see the 12U playing today. It'll be it's 6U, 8U, 10U. And 14 you. That's right, the the undefeated 14 U team. You will see them live right here on the Brevard Sports Network. Ten game, we need somebody for the ten game.
All right, so we're about to have second half action right here on the Brevard Sports Network of the 6U flag game in which Merritt Island is up 9-6. to six. Each team scored on their opening possession. And then on the first, first play of the Terrier second possession resulted in a safety. And that's how we ended up here with a 9-6 to six game between the Terriers and the Mustangs. And the Mustang offense will take over for their first possession of the second half. Thank you, Alan. Appreciate you. Merritt Island offense set to take the field. Their quarterback is Cameron Shields. Their, their, their big play back is number eight, Josiah Gonzalez. Darian ba uh, Ballard, also an another big play back for Merritt Island that we've seen today. Those have been the two primary backs that have truly just up upstarted this, uh, this Merritt Island offense today. Josiah Gonzalez, the up back in the I formation. Varel Ross uh, needed his mouthpiece. Got to make sure the kids are protected here. Number seven, uh, Gunter. Out there, he, he's ready. He said, excuse me, Mr. Official, can, can we put this ball down? Let's put, let's play ball, I'm ready. I'm ready. I formation. Gonzalez the up back. Shields under center. And he'll hand it off to the deep back. And that'll be Darian Ballard. And Ballard will pick up the gain of about... Check that, a loss of five yards. Second and 15 for the Mustangs. Formation again. J Gonzalez the up back. Shields takes a snap. Gives it off to Gonzalez. Gonzalez trying to fight off would be defenders. And great pull there by number two, Justin Gotti Jr. on the, the TFL. And it's now third and a trip back to Merritt Island for the Mustangs. And 
And there goes Gonzalez. Josiah Gonzalez down the sideline. He's got it a first down. And his flag will be pulled shortly after. But jo Josiah Gonzalez with a big run for Merritt Island. Now, there was a flag on the play that will negate it. And it will be holding on the Mustangs, which will negate the run. So that'll back up the Mustangs. Switching up the formation. And Gonzalez on the direct snap. Gonzalez gets his flag pulled. Great awareness there. By number 23, Gabriel Jeanette. And Jeanette is lucky he got that flag pull because uh, Gonzalez looked like he was off to the races. And that'll be a turnover on downs. Nine to six, Merritt Island on top. I do not have a time update. Time is being kept on the field. And unfortunately, due to that tent, you'll be... Yes, yes, Alan, everything's in those two bags. And what a play! Off to the races! Touchdown, Terriers! Yes, Alan, it, everything is in those two bags. I believe that was number 27, Trevon Charles on the, on the carry. Going for the point after conversion. And believe that shove may have just cost Merritt Island some yards there.
Number 21, Christian Jackson on the point after. So it's 13 to nine. Now Titusville takes over or takes the lead here. Great job there. But I believe I believe it was number 27, Trevon Charles on that touchdown run. I formation for the Mustangs as they have their second possession of the second half. Cameron Shields under center. Shields is going to keep it himself. Making people miss left and right. But great flag pull. By that Terriers defense. Trevon Charles on the flagpole. And that'll be a gain of maybe two yards. Second and eight for the Mustangs. Hands off to Gonzalez. Gonzalez making people miss. Dodging the flag pull attempts and finally gets his flag pulled, but not before he picks up a Merritt Island Mustang first down. Come the Mustangs. I formation. Again, I'd like to thank our partner Cash for Cars. Running or not, no title, no problem. They are the sponsor for all of today's action. And here comes Shields. Shields runs behind his blockers and will get his flag pulled after picking up a gain of about three or four on the play. Second and six now for the Mustangs. Gonzalez, the up back in the I formation. Ballard, the deep back.
Shields. Hands out to Balor. Balor trying to get to the outside. And his flag will be pulled. He might have gotten back to the original line of scrimmage. That flag pull by number three, Walter Thomas III. Again, do not know how much time is on the clock. Uh, clock's being kept on the field. All I know is this is Merritt Island's second possession of the second half. And I know the score is 13-9 to nine in favor of Titusville. Shields under center. Gives it to Josiah Gonzalez. Gonzalez. Has his flag pulled immediately by number 27, Trevon Charles, and stops stops Gonzalez for might even be, be a loss of a yard or two. Thirteen to nine, Titusville on top. Merritt Island taking their their good old time here with this second drive. Shields hands off to Gonzalez. Gonzalez flag is pulled almost immediately. Felix Santos. With the flag pull. And that'll be a turnover on downs. Titusville will take over in plus territory. Now they have the ball and the lead. And if anything, they're just trying, they're going to try and bleed this clock out and pick up this victory. Here come the Terriers back to the line. There's number 41 to the outside. And all right, Jordan McNeil was on that carry. And it'll be second and one. Uh, didn't understand. Uh, Didn't understand that one there, folks. Uh, he he had the first down, then he went backwards and went out of bounds. on his way. Hey, look, he's he's never fixed my mistake, so. No, 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 I'm saying, no, I'm saying he, he, he's the one fixing my mistake. I, 
I'm the one who forgot the equipment. Well, that's, that's not an excuse. We, we all did. <laughs> I, 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 just for this game. So Titusville here, first in ten in plus territory, looking to continue to bleed out the clock, possibly get another score on the board. Justin Gotti Jr. That'll be a gain of two yards. On, he ran two yards and then he just stopped. Coming up to the line of scrimmage. Now, this one will be a direct snap. Trying to get to the outside. He's got him a first down and then some before his flag is pulled. Couldn't catch the number on that young man. That was a touchdown. I didn't see it because the, the, the I, I didn't see the referee signal. Touchdown, Terriers. After touchdown is no good, so it's 19 to 9 in favor of the Terriers. And the Mustangs will get another crack at it. No, they won't. That will be the final play of the game. The Titusville Terriers 6U pick up the victory 19 to 9. Keep it right here to the Brevard Sports Network for 8U action coming up next in just a few minutes.